Hi everybody, so thank you so much for watching and today I've got my Q&A video. So I wrote down everybody's questions and first off I want to thank you so much for everyone who did answer, who did ask me a question and I will shout you out individually and answer all your questions right now. So let's do it and thank you again so much for subscribing and being a fan of mine and watching my videos. Love that and for asking questions. So let's just get into it, shall we? The first one that I have here is from Amber Lee. Hi Amber, thank you for watching. And uh, you asked me, are, uh, am I from PA? And I am. I am more towards the Pittsburgh side of Pennsylvania than the Philadelphia side. So I am a big Pittsburgh Penguin fan, and I love the Steelers, and I don't follow the Pirates as much, but they're pretty good too. Um, so yeah, I love hockey. My husband got me into the Penguins, and I've just been loving them ever since. I mean, back-to-back -back chance, awesome. We went to the Stanley Hall of Fame. Uh, last year in Toronto and it was so amazing the Stanley the, the Stanley Cup or the Hockey Hall of Fame <laughs> and got to see the replica of the Stanley Cup and it was so awesome we got a picture with it so yeah I loved that trip it was so amazing I'd love to go back to the Hockey Hall of Fame and just in Toronto in general that would be a really really great thing to stop back there and go so yeah again thank you for, so much for your question and for watching my videos so let's go keep going the next one I have here is from Koala Bear. Hi, Koala Bear. Thank you so much for watching my videos and for subscribing and for commenting. I think you're really cute and thanks. So um, here we go. Let's get into your questions. You asked me, what are your top three products of all time from Lush? And this was a super hard question to answer, but I kind of split it up into two different ways to answer it. So one, if you're thinking of categories of products, I would definitely have to say uh, bath bombs. I was almost gonna say bubble bars. I do love their bubble bars, but definitely bath bombs all the way. They are packed with all these amazing ingredients that are good for your skin and um, like different elements, like the really, really minty ones are good and tingly for your skin. Some have like Epsom salt and super spa like and good for your skin. So some of them have amazing ingredients in them that are great for your skin. Other ones are really great show in the tub. They put on these bursts of colors and I absolutely love their bath bombs. Good, good quality. And uh, the second category in top three products would definitely have to be shower gels and soaps. I love shower gels and soaps. I'm kind of putting them together because they kind of do the same thing, wash and cleanse your body. But I love liquid shower gels. I'm a liquid shower gel girl for life. I mean, I even made the solid naked shower gels back into liquid. So I will do anything to get liquid shower gels back. And I hope that they don't discontinue all liquid shower gels in general. I really hope they don't. If this Christmas 2018 they make Lord of Visceral into a solid naked shower gel, I will die. Like, I, I can't. I can't. If they make it into a solid naked shower cream, I'm done. I can't. I can't do it. I will riot. Okay, sorry. I don't mean to get that intense, but I probably would. Okay, so there's that. And then the third one I would definitely have to say is their body butters and body scrubs. Like the um, Scrubby or the Cherryish or the Aqua Mirabilis or the Salt and Peppermint Bark or Rough with the Smooth or the Old Rub 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 Solid Scrub. I love that. I love any of their scrubs. They're so, so amazing. They feel great on the skin and have these different moisturizing properties to them. Scrubby is my all time favorite. And uh, yeah, so it's just awesome. I love those three products as far as Lush puts out. <laughs> uh, but as far as like top three of all time, um, I would definitely have to say Malament Bubble Bar because I own that the most. I have like five <laughs> bubble bars of that still. Definitely Malament. Um, a second one would have to be Aqua Mirabilis. The underwater body butter and the regular body butter just something about that scent smells so amazing. I love it and it feels amazing. It's such a good scrub. And then the third thing would have to be anything transcended, anything transcended, shower jelly, shower gel, lotion. If they made a body spray, if they made anything transcended, I would definitely get it. So there's that. Thank you so, so much for your questions and it definitely was hard, but I had to think about it for a little bit. So thank you, Koala Bear, for watching my videos and for commenting and for asking me a question. All right, and the next one is from, I hope I'm saying this right, Shanaz Patel. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but 
you ask, can you do a morning routine? And funny enough, I don't really have a morning routine. Uh, I mostly take my baths and showers after I get home from work because I work most of the time in the morning. So anywhere between like 3 or 4 or like at night between like 8 and 10, you know. So I'm mostly like an evening or midday, you know, person. But a uh, cleansing person. But on the days that I do have off, I love um, taking morning showers and having a full day to myself and to, to clean in the morning. And I don't really have like a set routine. Funny thing, when I was in high school, all of my teachers and my principals would actually say to me that I was most famous and well known for being consistently inconsistent. So I don't really use the same thing every day, which is kind of nice. I, I like to change it up all the time. And um, But what I could do is I could make a video of the, all the products that I want to use up because right before I go into my bathroom, I have set out different bath cocktails that I want to use and products that I want to use up. And I could also do a what's in my shower video. So that'd be a really cool trade off for that. And then what kind of mask do you use? I can tell you the three that I have used, and that is Cosmetic Warrior out of the Fresh Face Mask. That's the only one that I've tried. Sadly enough, I need to try more Fresh Face Masks. I really want to try uh, Don't Look At Me, the blue one. And also I want to try Cupcake, because you know, it smells like a cupcake. <laughs> so I want to definitely try those out of the Fresh Face Mask. And I also have tried Mask of Magna Minty and Cup of Coffee. I absolutely love those two masks because they last longer than the Fresh Face Mask. They last up to three months and I think they're just really good and you can get a lot of use out of them. They're also for your body too. So I love that. And they're just awesome. I love those. So those are the ones that I have used. Now for the last question, I'm giving a shout out to Kay. Oh, again, thank you, Shanaz Padel, for asking me a question. And I'm so sorry if I butchered your name. And again, thank you for watching and subscribing and for commenting. Yeah, you're awesome. Okay, and then the last one was a lot of questions, so I saved this one to the end. And thank you so much, KD. Shout out to you. I hope you're watching. Hi. Um, I know you had a lot of stuff, but yeah, let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> First off, thank you for the compliment about my hair, and thank you for the compliment about saying I look like Sandra Bullock, which is so funny that you said that, because my aunt used to tell me the same thing when I was growing up. She'd be like, oh, there goes little Sandra Bullock, you know, running off. <laughs> like, you know, um, my aunt used to tell me that all the time. I love her, she's crazy, but um, I don't really see it as much, but I do think I kind of look like Sandra Bullock and Alan McGraw from the 1970s movie Love Story. If you've never seen it, definitely check it out. It's a classic. Um, but yeah, I think I look like them put together, but with a fatter face. Like I have a very square slash round big face. And I get that from my dad. I love my dad. <laughs> and another funny thing too is, is if you put a picture of my mom when she was 10 and a picture of me when I was 10 together, we look identical. I look a lot, lot like my mom. <laughs> Um, and I used to actually act uh, in uh, elementary and middle school. I did a lot of school plays, and then I did some summer camps, and then I did acting in high school and acting throughout college. And I, I feel really sad that I fell off with it, but I'd love to get back into it and do some local theater and stuff like that. Uh, it was so much fun. I just kind of like ended up not doing the greatest in college and hit the work first and I've just been working ever since but you know I love acting it really fed my soul it was it was I it was so nourishing for me as as like my inner happiness if that makes any sense but yeah I love I loved acting I really did and I hope I can get back into it someday as like a, a little side thing to do but with my schedule it's really hard to to tell nowadays but and my responsibilities but anyway, uh, life problems, you know what I'm talking about. Um, let's see, your questions now, finally. Top five lush scents of all time, and that would be one, Tramp or any earthy scent, scented product, like Tramp, Grass, um, Green Day Bubble Bar. I've mentioned these in the past, but yeah, anything earthy scented, I absolutely love. Tramp, Super Tramp, all that stuff. Um, two would have to be Lord of Misrule. I really, really love Lord of Misrule, and it's just awesome. I have the body spray and the body conditioner and the shower cream, and uh, I wish they made a lotion because I could have that too. But I, I, I kind of have all the products that that Lush ever kind of put out in the past in the kitchen for Lord of Misrule. I love Lord of Misrule. And it would kill me if they ever made that into a solid naked shower cream. I just, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. 
as I've mentioned, and maybe in this video already. <laughs> so that is two. Three would have to be American Cream. I love the American Cream scent. Four would have to be, oh gosh, Jungle. I love Jungle. Love the scent of Jungle. And then five would have to be Prince Charming or Yummy 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 or Yummy Mummy. Oh my gosh, that's such a hard question. Oh my gosh, you had so many. You had so many good questions. But those are definitely a lot of my favorite scents. Um, I have so many more though. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Favorite bath cocktail. And funny enough, every bath cocktail that I've ever done has always been my favorite because when I do them, I like to pair scents that would complement well with each other and I don't really just kind of grab things and throw them in the tub if you know what I'm saying like I like to combine scents that I think would match well or pair well together or really have like a good scent overall once they're combined so every cocktail that I've ever done has always been my favorite strangely enough I did a really good one um the other night with a half of a thunder snow from Christmas and then a dashing Santas from the exclusives over December 2017 so that was really great. It made the water uh, this sparkly gold um, shimmer in it, and it had this pinky purp uh, purpley color to it. Oh, it just looked awesome. I loved it. So yeah, every cocktail should be your favorite cocktail. If you know you get creative and you pick scents that go well together, it's just I, I love it. I love cocktailing. It's fun, you know. Every cocktail is a good cocktail. If you know what I'm saying. You know? <laughs> so. Uh, your next question was, what product would you like Lush to come out with? And I would really love it if Lush put an earthy scented product in their regular line besides Jungle. I, I just, I love earthy scents. I'm an earthy kind of girl, you know? I mean, for me, it's like such a grounding and balancing scent. I just... Oh, it makes me feel so good. I, I love Tramp. So, I Tramp, 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 as much as I've said it already. Um, yeah, so I would love for Lush to come out with more earthy scented products in their regular line besides Jungle. And then, what would you like, what products would you like Lush to improve on? And definitely their hair conditioners. Um, I love American Cream and Jungle, but like as far as moisturizing, they're not that great as far as moisturizing goes, but they are very perfuming to the hair. I mean, that scent will stay on your hair until you wash it again. But as far as like conditioning elements, it's not that soft. Out of all the conditioners that I've tried from Lush, the plumps had to been the best. Um, I mean, it made my hair feel super, super soft, and I, I love that one. And the scent is nice too. But yeah, I would love Lush to improve their conditioning elements, their shampoo, their conditioning elements in, in hair care, I, as I should say, because Retread never worked for me, R&B never really, really worked for me. So yeah, I just, I don't, yeah, that is something I'd like them to improve on. Or have matching scents with their shampoo bars. That would be awesome too. Okay, next thing you asked, which is non-Lush related. Thank you so much for all your questions, too. Favorite TV shows, actually. I just finished watching The Vampire Diaries. Overall, some of the seasons were hit and miss, but I, I do love that show, and the season finale was amazing. I, I love a lot of Netflix originals, like, um, well, like Stranger Things or the series of Unfortunate Events. I love a lot of Netflix original shows. I, I love sci-fi shows. I love... Um, Oh gosh, what is it? I, I'm drawing a blank. Magicians. I loved Magicians. That is like my all-time favorite book series and TV show. I have to watch season three. Oh, I have to. But I finished season one and two and I absolutely love that show. Also, Winona Earp. I love that show. Lost Girl. I kind of got into that, but I still have to watch more of it. Uh, so I like a lot of different sci-fi shows. And Bitten. Bitten is a really good one too. Um, I also like Supernatural and, uh, oh, Doctor Who. Oh my gosh, I'm a Whovian. I forgot to mention that. I love Doctor Who. Oh gosh, which reminds me, I got to talk to Doug. Douglas Beamer is uh, a YouTuber on here who's also my best friend. And he does videos and TV uh, movies and uh, TV show reviews. And he's amazing. And I got to talk to him about the newest season that I just finished of Doctor Who. So I'm a huge Whovian. I love Doctor Who. And um, yeah, so that is all the TV shows that I like. I like a ton more. I could go on for days talking about TV shows. Um, but those are the ones that I could think of. And uh, do you plan on vlogging? And yes, I'd like to in the future maybe, but I have to get like an actual camera to vlog with and not just take around my Kindle everywhere. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, I'd like to try to figure that out and see see what I can do in the future. But that is all the questions and, and all the answers that I got. Thank you again so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video. I gotta go because it's getting super long. Bye!